Trump supporters file a lawsuit against Mike Pence. Trump supporters who are desperate to stop President-elect Joe Biden from being sworn in have now filed a lawsuit against a very unexpected target. As flagged by Democratic election law Anthony Mark Elias, the conservative Thomas Moore Society has now filed a lawsuit against Vice President Mike Pence and the entire Electoral College in a desperate bid to overturn the result of the 2020 election. Advertisement. The lawsuit named Pence as a defendant due to his legal obligations under the Constitution and federal law to preside over Congress ratification of the presidential election that's due to take place on January 6th. The suit claims that Pence should not be allowed to count the Electoral College's votes because state legislature have not affirmatively voted to certify the presidential electors, despite the fact that the Electoral College has already voted and given Biden 306 votes which is more than what he needs to win the presidency. The Vice President and U.S. Congress act unconstitutionally in this election and future elections when they count votes of presidential electors where the respective state legislature has not affirmatively voted in favor of post-election certification, the lawsuit states. Advertisement commenting on Twitter Elias says he can't even be bothered to do a detailed analysis of the suit claims because they make suits little sense. I can't even describe it. He wrote of the lawsuit. It's really dumb. Thank you for listening to this news. I don't know when Donald Trump will will know we 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 accept the fact that he has lost uh, the election. You see, as a person, I would like to you. I used to be Donald Trump very strong fan because of. Um, the impact, because of uh, the impact he made when he was in office, you understand. But as things are going, I am I am beginning to get fed up and um, very very angry with Donald Trump this time around because he has started doing the unexpected. What message is he trying to pass to the public as we speak now? What message is he trying to pass? What is he trying to say to them? See, does it occur to Donald Trump that after this, um, after this, uh, this uh, election, after this, uh, 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 what's it called? After uh, the, the tenure of Joe Biden, be it four, be it eight years, they will soon have another uh, uh, contestant coming in to contest for presidency. So what message is it trying to pass to, to such a person that is coming in? It's trying to motivate the people of Americans to always contest results after election. I don't know what Donald Trump mean by election fraud. To me, I don't think there is any fraud in this election. Because even Donald Trump's own um, staffs that work 
in his administration confirmed it that there was no fraud in the election that the whole thing went so well and successful that there was no fraud so where has Donald Trump gotten his own information where has he gotten it when everybody is saying that there was no fraud where has he gotten his own information who has wrong fed him who has wrong informed him you see this is what we're talking about so mm -hmm. Donald Trump really need to get his, his, his head re-examined. He really need to get his head re-examined because I've not, I'm not seeing anything reasonable in what he's doing. His action is becoming too, um, too, um, too offending and unbearable. It's becoming too offending and unbearable. How can he be saying such a thing? Why? And for what reason? It doesn't all go well. It doesn't all go well. I must tell you the humble truth. Donald Trump is passing a very wrong message to the public. A very wrong message to the public. The, 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 the result is, is very clear and deep for everyone to see. The winning was with clear majority. All the courts he has been taking the case to all of them have has been testifying victory for Biden. We'll be entering January a few weeks from now. What's the what's Donald Trump preparation to leave uh, the White House? Or does it want to be the first president to be to be forcefully chased out of Rock, out of the White House? Does he? I know he won't like to to to, to be to be such a person because it will be it will go into the guinness book of record stubbornness cannot solve this situation but understanding but understanding i don't think that trump is really putting himself in the shoe of joe biden what if it was joe biden and he is the one that won the election huh would he as a, as accepted accepted it the way uh, he is acting now to Joe Biden. Well, I'm happy for America in a way because despite the many effort Donald Trump has been trying to put up to see that Joe Biden is defeated and taken out of seat, he has, he has never succeeded. Donald Trump has been trying to use the power of, of incumbency to you know, pull uh, this guy out of seat, but he has not been succeeding. I love Americans for that, for standing by the person that they elected and chose as their, pre their, 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 their pre president. You understand? And that is how it should be, and that's how it ought to be. You understand? So, um, my dear viewers, um, with no long, more, no long talk and uh, no much to say, I will say that your own opinion and comments are very important. Give me free to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.